I'm Emily Powers and I'm going to be painting this fox today. It's uh, it's so cute. I really like it. Um, it's going to be done in acrylics. And I'm going to show you from the beginning to the end how to do this. Um, this is on a 9 by 12 that I'm going to be doing. And I pre-coated it with unbleached titanium. Um, just so that I won't have to do this background a second time because it didn't cover good. So any areas that you can still see through, it will see this through instead of the white canvas because I don't want any of the canvas showing. So I got my uh, photo off of Pixabay and I really liked it. Um, it's just so cute how he's all curled up like that. And um, the paint colors that I'm using are titanium white, unbleached titanium, yellow oxide, um, or actually yellow ochre, it's not yellow oxide, ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and ivory black. Um, ivory black is more of a brown black, and I really didn't noticed that when I was just starting that blacks can look different but they do some are more black some are more blue some are more brown so uh, the brown will look good on the fox because the fox is a little more brown than straight black and then I'm using a watercolor pencil for the drawing um, you can see I already sketched it out a little bit here but I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute um, I'm going to use a Filbert, about a half inch filbert for the background, and then a three eighths inch angle brush for filling the fox, and then a one fourth inch um, filbert granier um, for the fur on the fox, and then a one fourth inch um, lunar blender. And I'm just going to use this for a little bit for this nose area that doesn't really show a whole lot of fur, but you could probably fill it in with uh, your angle brush or something. It doesn't have to be that brush. And then I'm going to use a small round for like the eye detail. Okay, so I'm going to start um, drawing this out. So if you start by kind of cutting the picture in half and then cut it in half a second time, it, the edge of the fox is just a little bit over, so cut it in half, and cut it in half again. Let's see, I'm doing that right. So it's going to come out a little further instead of a little more this way, it's going to be a little more that way. So I'm going to do like you can do a mark right there. And then this other side, if you cut it in half and half it again and half it another time, so you half it, half it into fourths, and then into eighths, and that's about where it's going to end. So put it into eighths. It's going to be about right here, but I kind of moved him over a little bit. So, and then it curves slightly. And to know when, see how it kind of starts curving and then it kind of slants right here. So to know where that happens, if you half it, it's just a little bit, a little bit higher than the half. So half it. Mine is kind of on the fourth, but that's okay. My fox is a little, it's kind of filling in a little bit more of the canvas than the picture was. They were showing a little bit more background, but the fox is the main thing, so. And it's kind of got this little dip right in here. So the dip starts a little over from the fourth 
that way. And the height of the fox is probably, it's the first kind of ending at the fourth. So if you do it a little lower than the fourth, see. So if you do it lower than the fourth, that's kind of where we want to end it because we don't want to go out quite as far as this hair is going to be coming because if we went out that far then it would just grow in size when we go to add the fur. So just kind of make it slightly smaller than it appears so that when you put the fur then it'll kind of get a little bigger. So this side ends about a little lower than four, the fourth mark. So it comes in and you can do it kind of like you can't it's kind of curved here and then more straight here and then it comes up so um, there's gonna be some snow it's kind of coming right here and after we do the fox we may go back and kind of do this hump here because it's kind of fade fuzzy right here it's kind of faded and I actually left my I didn't put any extra snow in front when I finished the fox but you could do it either way and then the let's see if you cut it in half and half it again the edge of the leg is almost on the fourth but you want to come in just slightly again because of the fur that's going to come out and let's see if you do it in half if you do it in half from this portion and then half it again that's about where the tail is going to start and it's going to come up and kind of point to this corner go around like that and then this slants this way and then curves and goes back down and the nose is just right in this area right where the leg and the tail meet is where the nose is and then if you see if you take this corner uh, this, if you picture the nose as kind of like a square then this uh, little corner here if you point it kind of not straight but kind of diagonal this way just kind of do a, a little faded line that way then the ear is going to st start right here so kind of where this part curves the ear is going to start curving in and then then right about here it's going to point to this corner and then kind of curve the tip come straight down almost and curve in and then you're going to do this other part of the ear curves in this way if you see um, foxes have like this uh, little area see how it kind of it's like a triangle here almost you see a little bit of it over here but that's what that part is and then this side can or the face can just come down and if you did it right then if you kind of uh, split your fox and you know take the whole area and just kind of make a point in the middle then right up from that, in the middle of this kind of line right here, is where this other ear is going to start. 
and it points in this direction and then starts going up and around and then it points goes back the other way so the it fades it's pointing this way so not at the corner like the other was but about right here so about the fourth is kind of where that one's pointing and then curve it in and then the fur um, about uh, the top of the head and kind of where you're seeing the neck fur is it comes like an arc right here but when we put in the fur it's going to kind of come out um, almost over this ear but not quite it just kind of cuts the tip off so then this one it doesn't go anywhere near the tip it just kind of stays on here so it's going to really arc this way up that way but we don't want to go completely to the end of where it's going to stop and then this line here about in the middle of it you're going to do this circle so if you do let's see actually probably move the eye down slightly so right in that middle of that line right there there's the circle for the eye and then there's this dark part right here And then this kind of like black comes out from the eye right there. Okay, so I'm just going to look at it and make sure I've got it all the right shape. And uh, there's kind of like a line here. This line was just to help us get everything right. That line really doesn't exist. But there's kind of like, this is where the mouth kind of top, where the mouth kind of is. You can sort of see it right here. It's like a dark spot. Okay, so we got that. And I'm going to take my filbert and just fill in the background. So it's kind of a dark blue, so I'm going to take the ultramarine blue and just a little bit of the burnt sienna and it makes it, makes the blue a lot darker. But it's not that dark, so I'm going to take some white and it really makes it like a gray. See how gray it is? And you didn't even add any black to it. But I don't want it that gray, I want it more blue looking. And let's see, that might be good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm going to put that on. And I'm going to kind of put it in these, this diagonal direction. Um, you could do it fuzzy like the background was here. Um, like take a mop brush and kind of fuzz it out. But I'm kind of going to do it diagonally. Today. Um, okay, so then there's like this other color. It's got some of this yellow ochre. Maybe some burnt sienna. And some of bleached titanium. And then some of that blue. It's not a, uh, it's not a blue, it's kind of a brownish, but when you mix it in with a blue, it kind of browns it.
Okay, and then it gets lighter once you get closer to the fox. I'm gonna get some water to help it flow better. And I'm, I'm not gonna worry too much about going over it, but going over the fox a little bit because like I said, the fur is gonna come out over. So we don't want there to be like a halo where there wasn't any, like where this yellow color was showing. We don't want it to kind of in between the fur and the background have this yellow poking through that would just make it look kind of funny. So you kind of want to go over it a little bit to prevent that. And I'm going to get this color and kind of put it in here. Maybe get some more of the blue with it. Got some brown. It's okay though, it is kind of brown over here. Add that over here. Actually, it doesn't come near that far down, but okay. And I'm going to get some more white with the blue and some of this brown. I have to dull it a little bit and come around the head area. And the reason I chose the unbleached titanium for the background um, is because the I didn't want to do all blue and then go in with the fox. I mean, you can do that, but like if you watch my leaf video, sometimes it can make the colors brighter if you do, if you leave what's under something alone, it can make it um, a lot brighter at the end. So, um, and I also mainly did it um, so that I could get the whole canvas covered. And if any, if I didn't get any areas later, then it would be the yellow showing instead of the canvas showing. So I'm trying to make the blue at the top and have it lighter at the bottom. And you could do the background, uh, you could, instead of adding all these extra browns and yellows and stuff, you could just make it blue into a lighter blue if you wanted to, to make it a little easier. I'm going to add some of this brown up in here. And then I'm going to put some more of this dark blue in this other corner. take some white and kind of add it in here. And 
because I still have the blue, it's mixing. So it's not actually pure white. Getting back into that brown color. And I'm going to take some maybe unbleached titanium this time. And the unbleached titanium is like a warmer white color. It's an off-white. And see I'm getting into the fox, but that's okay. So we're going to put some darker colors before we do the lighter ones, and they'll cover that light blue easy. And I'm going to take some more white. And so now I'm just kind of trying to make sure that this blends well. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm going to take white, a little bit of the ultramarine blue, but not very much. And I'm going to come right here and add the ground in the back. And it's kind of fades into the background a little bit. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of come under him a little bit. And I'm going to pull this, take a little bit of the blue, and pull it just down to about here. And then I'm going to take this and come the other side here and there's more of a contrast where the snow starts on this side it's on this side it's kind of faded on this side, you can really see where it starts. I had to go over that part again and uh, cover that up because I got the dark so far down that it's wanting to cover. Okay, and then I'm going to actually take some more blue and a little bit of this burnt sienna and put some of that down here. 
or darker color. Because there is kind of a sh darker shadow in the snow right there. There we go. And then then I'm going to take some more white and put that right along here. And there's a it's like a slope of snow. It angles down this way. And then it starts getting more blue as it gets down I think it's easiest to do this when it's wet than when it starts to dry because I didn't make this dark down in this corner last time I had to put it in later and it was harder to get it look to look right so Alrighty, so the background is pretty much done. Um, I might have to go back over. I can still kind of see through that dark, but I don't know. We'll see when it's dry. Acrylics dry slightly darker um, than they appear when they're wet. I think more so with the heavy body, but I'm using student body, so it's not going to change that much but okay so now I'm going to fill in the fox and with a lot of things in acrylics especially animals you want to put in the darker color first so I'm going to do the burnt umber and ultramarine blue which makes like a really dark gray and I'll add some black to it make it darker and put that in here and you want to um, put your brush strokes in the direction the fur is going so here it's going to come this way here it's kind of going up this is kind of straight this is up this way so you always want to put your brush strokes in that direction so that if any of it shows, it'll just look like you put it there on purpose. You put those brush strokes there on purpose. I'm just kind of going to flick out just a little bit so it won't be as hard to get the effect that I want later. So it ends kind of right here. So animals especially need dark under them. Um, anything with acrylics really needs to have dark under, but animals especially need that so that you can see the depth in them. If you don't have any dark, 
it'll just look kind of flat and you don't want that you want it to look like there's some dark shadows and under the fur You can see I'm trying to make the edges fuzzy instead of just doing a hard line because if you put a hard line later it will be hard to cover. So if you fuzz it out it will be easier to cover over later. I'm just going to flick up here and I don't want to flick out too much. I'm not doing the fur right now. Um, I'm not doing the fur that goes out that I was telling you to would make it um, look a little bigger. I'm not doing that part right now. Right now I'm just fuzzing out the edges so it's still going to grow. Okay, and then there's some there's some fur kind of coming out this way. The tail is. Okay, so that's the really dark areas. Now I'm going to take some burnt sienna mixed in with that just a little bit and then some yellow oxide. Actually, I think I'll carry that over here. So I've got it yellow uh, ochre. I don't keep saying oxide. Um, and mix it kind of with what's in my brush to make it a little darker. And then kind of come in with that and kind of blend it in so it doesn't jump from one color to the next. This part comes up and it flicks up this direction and then this goes this way. And then once we get to the end, I'm going to get the unbleached titanium and use that. And it's still mixing in with the browns and the yellows and everything that are on my brush. So, And again, I'm not going out as far as I will later, so it's going to come out a little farther. but. Right now we're just filling this whole thing in so that there will be some color under this box. And then there's some unbleached titanium here. Oh, that's really blue. I'm gonna pick it up and move it over here. Mix it in a little bit with that color. And just kind of flick it in. I'm gonna try to Blend it a little bit. It's kind of dry, but that's okay. It doesn't have to blend, but okay. So uh, you may think that this is not right, that it's really ugly, but that's this is the ugly stage. It's going to be ugly. At this point, especially with animals, they look really ugly when you're trying to get this dark. It doesn't look so good, but 
once you get in some other colors, you get the fur texture and everything, it'll look a lot better. So just trust that it will get there. Um, I'm going to take some of this dark and put it kind of right here. And take the umber titanium and flip back out again. You don't want a hard edge there. Okay, and then I want to get this golden color and mix it in with that. And some of the dark. Golden. I'm going to take some unbleached titanium and put that in. I'm just filling the fox in right now. I'm not even really worried too much about the exact colors. Some white here. Sorry, that was my dog. Sandy, it's okay. Shh. It's okay, it's just me. <sighs> hey, it's all right. <laughs> She's... I think that was the, uh, the fridge makes noise, noises. And she was sleeping and wasn't really it caught her off guard. <laughs> it's okay, Sandy. You, you don't have to worry. I'm safe. I'm good. Sandy, it's okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put some red over here. And around the eye a little bit and the nose it's okay <laughs> um and actually I need to put a little bit more around the eye and then I'm gonna take my yellow it's okay Sandy <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, I don't want to, I probably scared a few people with that, but, um, I hope, I hope it'll, wasn't too bad for you. So I just filled the eye in with the yellow, and then I'm going to take the dark color, and and put the black right in here. It's okay. Okay, and now the ears. I'm gonna put some the unbleached titanium in this area. I'm going to go back. These colors, like I said, aren't going to be the exact same. 
not worrying as much about the colors right now. Um, and then there's going to be some this color here in the ears. And then white right in here. And it blends in. And in here, there inside the ears, there's black. So you put the black in. And then some of this red. Blends in the red. Okay, and I'm going to take the white again and lick out into the ear. I don't want it to be a solid line. leave that for a minute and take the yellow with this reddish color put that in put some in there and right there and then get the black put it in right there And kind of mix these two in. And there's like this white line right there. I hope this isn't too hard to follow along with because it's kind of got the ears probably would be hard one of the harder parts the ears and mm, I don't know the ears are kind of sort of the hardest part this really isn't that hard of a painting to do I think just might, it would be harder if you were having to follow along with it than it would for me to do it just freehand by myself. I think it's harder to follow along for me than to come up with it myself sometimes. I mean, when I'm following along with someone else, you know, they tell me exactly what I need to do, but when I do it by myself, I know the way that I want to do it, and I know the technique that I'm going to use and everything, whereas it could be hard to explain that when you're, maybe hard to understand it when you're following along. Okay, so now I'm going to take my round and get some black and the ears are we got black around them and you want to add some water to the brush to help it flow better when you're using these round brushes
So I'm going to put the border in and then I can put more inside the ears when I see where the border is. Okay. And this side comes and tapers down into a smaller line. There. So now I'm going to take some of this unleashed titanium and add that in the ears. In there. And add some of this red color to the outside. I'm going to take more black and write that in. And I don't want it to curve this much, so I'm going to I'm going to try to straighten it out a little bit more. And then this side kind of has some white over here, over here, and it kind of fades a little bit. side is black I got some water I have a hard time getting my water uh, whenever I add water especially to these small brushes it runs down it stays on this part and then runs down later while I'm painting and puts water down where I don't want it. So this side has black a little thicker and then it goes down into there. This side, it's got the thin black, and then I'm going to take some white and just kind of try to make that edge not so hard. And it's kind of, there's that water again, it's kind of, kind of moved where I don't want it, so I'm going to put it where I do want it, and then go back with the white and unbleached titanium and put that back. Okay, and now I'm going to do some black around the eye, so it, there's some around here.
So you're just gonna go completely around the eye and then kind of some around here and kind of put the tip there. And I'm gonna rinse my brush off and kind of fade it because I don't want there to be a hard edge where those tips are. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this black in the nose and I don't even think we're going to need to blow dry it because it's already dry over here. Okay, um, okay, I think now I can add the fur to the back. Well, actually, this is dry now. I could probably start on the face. I did the back first last time, but it's better to start on the face. So I'm going to do the Lunar Blender. <laughs> I can't think of the name of this one all the time I'm thinking okay what is the name I don't remember <laughs> okay and I'm going to take the white and the yellow and some of this red but it's a pretty light color so and I'm just going to put some texture there get the red and the brown maybe get a little bit more brown and put some that in there. I'm going to get some more red and put it up in here. And then I'm going to get this black and put some of it in here, in the nose. And I'm going to get the white again and just kind of tap over that front because the nose is kind of the top of the nose is kind of getting covered by fur a little bit and then the side of the face is kind of red with some black and maybe brown 
but it's got a red tint to it, so I'm gonna get some. Some of this yellow. I'm gonna add it over here. down the face and then you know what I'm trying to figure out how to do this area it's got some red and right at the tip of the nose, it's white. Then it fades. And there's some black here. I'm going to get some color and put it over here, back on the nose area, and I'm going to this part's lifting so I need to leave it alone whenever the acrylic gets sticky. It's can lift wherever it starts to dry. It can lift off the canvas and leave you with a white spot, so I'll avoid that. Sandy, it's okay. I don't want her to start barking again, and I just heard some noise, maybe from a cat or something. It's okay, girl. It's all right. It's okay. So some, eesh, it's way too dark. There's some dark I have over here. Comes out. See, I'm going to put some cover over that. No, I think it's dry enough, maybe, that I can put some there. Yeah, I would. 
this dry enough. I think it's kind of cool to see how paintings come out different. Even when they're done by the same person, you could do them several times and they're going to come out so different. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's kind of interesting to see how it's done by the same person and it looks so different because I'm already seeing differences in my original and this other one. I'm already seeing where my ears on this one are bigger. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, okay, I think that's all I'm going to do for the face um, with this brush at the moment. And I'm going to go to my grainier. And when you're using this brush, you want it to be very watery and it really thinned out. You don't want a whole lot of paint on your brush. And I'm just going to flick and see how it's making for light area. I'll come too far down in there. It's going straight up. I'm going to go on the edge of the ear and I'm going to slant it on its side, kind of, so I can get it in there. I'm going to go this way. Come out. And the fur right here really isn't very long coming out of the cheek. some of it in here, show some texture. And I'm going to take some burnt sienna with it and add it to that color that I'm using. And kind of some I'm going to make it darker so that it will show up a little better. If it's too close to the same value, it'll kind of blend into each other and won't really show up. It needs to be either darker or lighter or a big color change. So this is slightly darker, I think, just barely. Tapping it out because I don't want too much color there. And the edges are going to come up. And they're These ones are going to be closer to this tip, but not going to slope down on this edge. And then I'm going to take some unbleached titanium and water that down. It's okay if it's mixed in a little bit. Here. And 
a bunch of white right here in the head area. And it kind of curves when you go around the ear area. just coming from the tail but and then I'm gonna take some of this black I don't want much of the black but maybe make it more brownish Some dark here and here. There's not much of it, so and get the light. Okay, and I'm going to take some of this over here, some of the orange, a little bit of dark, and let me take this light again. over just a little bit okay and I might take it and put some right where these are coming off there we go okay So now I'm going to add to the back of that area. So I'll take this dark color and start back here. I'm going to add more water, it's not really wanting to flow. I'll get some yellow and water that down. I'm going to add some of this yellow to the face to kind of tie it together make it look like the same box Here's some over here Good. get the fur out And 
and oops, it's really dark back here, so I'm going to try to keep it dark there. Okay, and now I'm going to take the dark color, and I'm going to do a bunch of fur all along the back. And really, I'm doing this dark because there's some dark back here, but we're going to go and do more lighter. Start pulling these hairs down. Okay, and then we're gonna take some of the yellow. We're actually gonna take the brown first. So put some brown. We're adding a little bit of color to this dark. Um, I'm going to do the yellow. Put some of that in. And it's kind of mixing and getting darker. So I don't want it as light as I have it. So it's good that it's mixing. more black so it's mixing with my yellow and the more color that I put down is mixing so
Okay, now I'm gonna get the brown and add that in. And I'm gonna put some of the yellow in here. Just to kind of that throughout the whole thing. And then we put some more over here. And I'm going to take the Adelaide's Titanium with a little bit of this. That's actually a lot of that. <laughs> okay, it's more like it. Put that in there. And with this, I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to use the side. I'm just kind of put some little areas of that. Like that. Oof. Too bright. I'm going to put a bunch of these little things. They're just like light patches of fur. Any spots that we kind of put too many, or there's kind of a funky shape in these, we can kind of go over with another color. Okay, now I'm going to take this golden red and flick some of that up in here. black out and then we go back to the golden and put that in it's like you need um a lot of water but you also need it to be able to flow so you kind of have to find the balance in it Okay, and then we're going to put the white and blue titanium and flick that 
Maybe see here. Get a little bit more water. There can be some dark that shows through, but we want a lot of this to stay. This light is going to come over the dark. Add some of that over here. Okay. Add some black. Add that. And some golden. And I'm going to add some burnt sienna to this. I want it to be light. I'm going to add some of that to the tip of this tail. I don't want a whole lot of it though. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that alone for a minute and work on the eye. So the eye is pretty easy. You just want some yellow and just a little bit of the black. And it makes it kind of green, which is okay for an eye. This eye is mainly yellow, but we have some green in it. Go on this side. And kind of some of that. And we're going to get some straight yellow on this side. Blend that in. I'm going to take some more black. Put it over here. And I'm going to take the black and put my Eyeball in. Just like that. And actually, some more of the we're showing that in. Maybe 
then on this side the yellow then shape it a little bit Go back with the black and put more in there. Just gonna take the green and some over there in the black. take the dry side brush out and take some white with the yellow make a light yellow take some of that take some more white and put some and kind of blend it out Look kind of like a highlight. There we go. And take some more black. I just kind of want to fade it out. I don't want a black to go too far out, so. Add some lighter around it. And take the black and blend it over on this side. Where this Not the highlight, the dark side is. Go back over that. And I'm gonna do the ears with a little bit more black in here and then take the burnt sienna and yellow oxide mainly yellow oxide and put it over here Some burnt sienna and put it over here. And then I'm going to take some lighter of those two colors and kind of blend it. Blend it in here. And 
this color is going to go on here. It's going to fade into yellow. that back into the original color. Look kind of like fur over here. And then I'm going to take my granier and take some white. A little too watery still. Flick it up. Make it all furry. Actually, it comes. Farther in. Here we go. I'm gonna fray a little ear. And I'm gonna take the unbleached titanium. Put that in. Here, and kind of blend it back out into the first color that we had, and then take the yellow, put some of that in, and let some black. Put that <clears throat> on there, and there's some black along here, and it fades into the light. Take some white color and put it along here. I'm going to fade it back into the brown. And take the black and fade it into the brown. Needs to be a little bit thicker to cover. Okay, so that's that ear is pretty good. I think I might take a little more yellow. Oops. Take some more yellow and put it there. Okay. on the other ear with some yellow oxide and put that in there and then do the white and 
And then I'm going to do some white this way before it dries, hopefully, so that we can get some hair in there without it drying and making a hard line. And I'm going to go back to the round. And I'm going to do some black. Then I'm going to take some of this light color and fade it, blend it together. I'm going to take some brown and burnt sienna, put it along right here. And I'm going to take some light color and put it right along here and blend it in on both sides. I want there to be, it look kind of like a crease right in here. So I'm going to brighten it up and then fade it in. I'm going to take some of this color, burnt sienna, and put some more, just a little bit, in here. And I'm going to take some of the bleached titanium, put some in here. We're almost done. There's just a little bit that we have to do on the back still. Um, the ambleached titanium and the burnt sienna. We still have to do some more of that. Those patches, so we'll put some more hair over here. So you can probably see two of my strokes kind of ran into each other there. So I'm going to go back and fix that a little bit. I'm 
going to have to fade it. And I'm going to take some of this lighter color and put some here. Put some more black in here. Some yellowish in. Okay, I'm messing with it too much. Okay, um, I'm just gonna put some more fat over that dark area. Alright, and put some burnt sienna. Just a little, you don't need a whole lot of it. And lighten that. Okay. And then I want some more white, lighter color, right where the where the um, lighter is. I want some of the white. Okay, and then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put just a little bit over here. So now I'm going to do a highlight in the eye and I'm going to do some white with a little bit of the black but not very much and then put some right in there. It doesn't have to be shaped perfectly, just kind of wriggle it in there. And then I'm going to take my big filbert and my white, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to kind of take it and put it over that edge. I'm going to put 
just water my brush down and just get that, keep that dark right there. Okay, so it uh, cut off there, but I just put the white right here, brighten it and covered over this just a little bit. But I'm going to do the grass that's back in the background real quick. And it's, let's see. Burnt umber and the blue. And I'm not going to put much paint on it so that it looks faded. And go right on the line that we did. do some that look like bent grass just do a little bit and there's kind of like a bush or something right here And then all in here is dark. And I'm going to get water and kind of blend it in. That's actually, let's see. It's actually kind of more blue, so. Okay, and then I'm going to get more blue, and I'm going to do some grass coming out over here. Do some over here. I'm gonna get more brown and do some stuff coming up. Actually, I think I'll take the, some black and do. stuff coming up and then there's brown grass right here and actually I'm gonna before I do that part there's like a white kind of like a like some snow that's kind of coming up. Right there, and then 
put the grass in front so it's kind of coming out. In different areas, some are going up and some are kind of bent over. So it's like straw kind of and then we're gonna take this and put some lighter part. Okay, and then I'm going to use the brush we've been doing the fur with and put some water it down and put just a little bit kind of over the snow. a little bit and I'm going to get it thicker so it'll cover better and just put some in here Okay, and then the yellow um, ochre, and I'm just going to do some more, maybe with some of this to lighten it. Then a dark back over it. I'm just doing the last little bits on here. And do a little bit on this part. Okay, and now I'm going to sign it with the Faber Castell Fit Artist Pen, and you want to go with fingers with the way 
from both edges so that if you frame it, you won't cover over the name. And it's nice if you uh, mess up, you can cover, wipe it off. So, I have some other videos on my channel that are winter like this. This is, um, we just did this one, so next week I'm doing the penguins. I don't know if you can see that, but it's the mom and the baby. And um, last week we did the bird. That's the painting we did. So you can um, go to my channel and get um, find that one. And then if it's been um, a few weeks, there, some of these other ones might be out too. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this one and that you'll like and subscribe. And I hope you'll um, paint this and try it and see. Um, it was really fun. It's so cute. I really like the eye especially, but, um, I hope that y'all have a good day and bye.